for Minecraft and World of Warcraft end of what? What? It's like PCs are for sad and only people. No, they're not. What are you on about? Crazy person. It's one of them things where it's just. Oh God. So I had an argument with him. He didn't respond. Me, me and my friend Cleggy just like teamed up on him and like gave him a list of reasons why a PC is better than an Xbox. He shut up. Basically, what I'm saying is PC is good if you're willing to put the effort in. I understand completely if you don't want to. If you don't want to, just, just that's fine. Just play um, on an Xbox or PS3. I just don't like the fact that people hate on PCs or Xbox or PS3s immediately. I prefer the Xbox's software over the PS3s. Um, I think it runs a bit smoother, um, but the PS3 is better in like the hardware sense. Um, the amount of money Microsoft's got to put on it is showing. Um, you have Microsoft, you have Bing on there, which I don't like. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Um, this is getting weird now. It's just me ranting on about how good and bad everything is. Okay. For example, if I want to, I can stream this. I can do that easily I couldn't do that on a Xbox alone but I can do on a PC um I can quickly edit it you know PS PC is good for multitasking if I want to I can watch how I met your mother on the other screen it's good. I have got two screens. That's that's also good. The Xbox doesn't have that. Well, you probably could have that actually. Um, that's probably just an idea. Have you have done that? I think for Forza Three and stuff like that. No, I think Forza Four and E Three they were doing that actually. Um, Forza Four seems good. From what I can tell. Haven't actually seen any in-depth stuff on it, but I will probably get it one day. What I plan to do, because um, maybe I should touch on the Battlefield 3 versus Modern Warfare 3 subject. Um, yeah. Um, Robert Bowling said that. He has like a Reddit Q and A thing, and he said how good dice were, and that's pretty good. Um, but s loads of people say that about other companies who they're rivaling against. But I, he says how COD's more fast-paced, arcadey type, and um, Battlefield Three's more team orientated, that sort of stuff. I have to agree with him. They're both equal games. Modern Warfare 2 was broken, no one can deny that. But you can't deny that Mon Battlefield Bad Company 2 was also a bit broken. Um, I've be gone into many a time where a medic's just in a corner shooting everyone then reviving all his teammates, that sort of stuff. I'm not saying I'm not saying it's as bad as Modern Warfare 2. I'm just saying it wasn't perfect. No game is. Um, I will be. I am. I've heard good things about Modern Warfare 3 and how. Well, the. Um, how they've uh, balanced it from Hutch and places and websites and stuff and how good Spec Ops is now. And they seem to be focusing quite a lot on that, so. The amount of work they've done in it's probably a lot. Um, so I can't actually. I can't wait playing these games. I think at the moment we're in a, like a bit of a drought. I have got Mass Effect 2 to play, but I can't get myself around to do it. I I I know it's, it's, it's I know I will have fun when I play it. I just can't get myself to play it. Um 
I remember last time playing it saying to myself, if I don't want to play this again, force myself to. So, I don't know. Um, Mass Effect 3 isn't one of them games where, oh, well, let's help on that for a bit. You need to get time into it to get stuff out of it. Um, me doing my GCSEs, it's not, I don't really have that time. Um, I'm not saying it's a bad game, it's a very good game from what I can tell of it and heard of it. Um, Skyrim, I know that's going to be amazing. I know it. I just know that I won't have the time to play it. Which really saddens me. I think what's going to happen is that over the summer next year, I will just catch up for over the last few years. Which is sad, but, you know. Okay, so that's fine. Um, I, I am actually really looking forward to Battlefield 3. Uh, I want to say more so than Modern Warfare 3. But, I think I'm looking forward to Modern Warfare 3 a bit more. Not because I prefer it, but because that's where I started gaming, basically. I played lots of games before that. I played Nazi the Old Republic. I played Futurama at young ages, but I just f I just think that um, that's where I got started playing um, online, which is where most of the games are. And the fact that I started playing online on Modern Warfare 4, I didn't even know that it was good online. I just played it online. So I think it's quite lucky that I managed to get myself into a game which was good online. Um, I have to say I was one of the Matadome noobs. Um, it was a long time ago. Okay. I think we're done here. Which is cool. I'm just going to do this. Um, Battlefield 3 seems good. I haven't seen much of it now. Um, it showed single player on tanks, but that's not m not really what I want to see. But it is good. Um, he had a Battlefield 3 live stream, but he didn't actually have any gameplay on it. The only gameplay he had was trailers, which he'd already released. The um, the online bit of France seems good. I'm I'm looking forward to that. And there is going to be a beta in September, which is when I got back to school, which isn't good. But I have got the Uncharted 3 beta at the end of this month. I do not have PlayStation Plus, but I'm hoping, because I haven't actually started using it yet, um, that I will get access to the U3 beta, along with the normal PS Plus subscribers. You got 60 days free. Lucky you. What you have to do is give over your credit card details to some Romanian hacker who has a mustache. A handbar mustache. I've got myself a headache now. That isn't good. Um. Nah. I, I think. I, I don't entirely blame Sony for the um, outage. It was a hate attack, I think. I don't think they... I don't think they use... You know, I don't think it was that... I don't think they were in it for the money. I don't think. I think it was just more of a hate thing. Um, sure, I'm amazed that Sony could have done more to prevent it. But, think about it. They're going to be um, monitored like how good their stuff is to like stop them so you know 
Whatever. And just, if you're not happy with your two 20 quid games, think of it this way. You get 40 quid of games, like full real tell games, a few years old, admittedly, yeah, but that's how much they worth, as you say. That's 40 pounds. Now, if we times 40 by the amount of people who who were in the attack, you get a hell of a lot of money. So that's basically 70 times, no, 77 million times um, 40. Plus the fact that you give 60 days of PS Plus free and all everyone 30 days free um, which is more free stuff and if everybody took full use of that I'm sure Sony would lose a hell of a lot of money which they already have probably I say probably they definitely have um, so I don't know I can't, I can't be bothered to do it on my head because I'm really tired and the internet's gone, so, oh well.